Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the values of R and S in this given quadratic equation x square plus Rx plus S equal to zero if its two roots are two third and negative three. To solve this problem, I'm going to show you two different ways. And here's the very first method that we're going to be using. Let's focus on this given quadratic equation. And I have copied it down right over here. Now we are going to compare this quadratic equation with a standard form. And we can see that our A value is going to be 1. B value is going to be R and c value is going to be s now let's look at our formula if alpha and beta are two roots of our quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero then their sum their sum of these roots is going to be minus b over a and their product is going to be c over a a. And in our case, this 2 third is our alpha and negative 3 is our beta. Two roots and here we are going to find the sum alpha plus beta. That means we're going to add these two roots 2 over 3 plus this beta is negative 3 equal to in our case b equals to r so that's going to become negative r divided by a is one let's simplify the, this thing on the left hand side that's going to give us two third positive and negative becomes negative three equals to negative r now Let's simplify the left hand side. I can make this three as a fraction, just putting one underneath, and I can just simply cross multiply, crisscross. All right, let me show you how we're gonna do it. Really simple two times one, this way is gonna be two minus whatever this sign is, and then three times three is nine divided by whatever our denominators are three and one we are going to multiply them out that's going to give us three times one is three and that is going to be equal to negative r so this on the top is going to be negative seven over three equal to negative r so negative and negative cancels out so our r value is going to be seven third in this next step we are going to find the product of these two roots alpha times beta equal to c over a in our case alpha is two third just write it down and our beta is negative three equals to in our case c is s just let's put down s divided by a is one and as we can see that this three and this three this is gone so we ended up on the left hand side equal to negative two equal to s over one is same as s so that means s is going to be simply negative two so thus our r value turns out to be a 7 third and s is negative 2. And now I'm going to show you the second method how to solve this given problem. And we are going to use this really simple formula x minus the first root which is this one and times x minus the second root which is negative 3 equal to 0. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So x minus this first root is 2 third. I'm going to just write down 2 third times and then x minus the second root is negative 
3 and parentheses close equal to 0. And now let's focus on this very first factor x minus 2 third. I just copy it down over here x minus 2 third equal to 0. Let me show you an easy way to remove this fraction. Let's focus on this denominator 3. Let's simply drag it and put it in the front. That's all we have to do. So that could be written as 3x minus 2 equal to 0. So thus we can write this first factor nicely as 3x minus 2 times, see we have a two negative signs, they are multiplying, that is going to give us negative time, negative is positive, so x plus 3 equal to 0. And now we are going to use this FOIL method. Let's see how we're going to do is 3x times x and then 3x times 3. Let's go ahead and do this thing. So 3x times x is going to give us 3x square. 3x times 3 is going to be plus 9x. And now we're going to distribute once again. No wonder we call it double distribution. Negative 2 times x and negative 2 times 3. So that's going to give us negative 2x negative 6 equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and combine the like terms. So this could be written as 3x square 9x minus 2x is going to be a positive 7x minus 6 equal to 0. And we want to make sure that our leading coefficient is 1. So I am going to divide by 3 across the board each and every term. So this could be written as simply x square plus 7 over 3x minus 2 equal to 0. And here is our given quadratic equation x square plus rx plus s equal to 0. And we are going to compare their coefficient. And as we can see that r is going to be 7 third and s is going to be negative 2. So r turns out to be 7 over 3 and s is negative 2. Thus our r and s values turn out to be a 7 third and negative 2 respectively. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye!